Hi everyone, this is Miss Whittle and welcome to Flipping the Library. In today's video, we're going to start a unit on escape rooms. Uh, you'll learn a little, little bit about how escape rooms work and uh, we'll be doing a Harry Potter escape room or getting started on one. Um, and to do that, you will need to use some library skills and some academic skills that you already have. So the escape room I'm going to show you today is the Hogwarts Digital Escape Room. It's a long address, so I'm going to put that in uh, the description of the video. Uh, this uh, escape room was created by a librarian in Pennsylvania. And um, you can read through all of this as you need to, but uh, mostly it's giving um, citations on where she got um, information and where she got the pictures and things like that. It is important to cite uh, your resources when you're making something. This is made in Google Forms, so it's something you probably have already seen before if you have been using Google in your um, online learning. And so down here, we're going to click Next to get started. It does have some reading, so um, if you're in one of the lower grades, you'll probably want a parent or an older brother or sister to help you out with this um, to start reading with you. So I'm going to read a little bit of it, and we will um, follow through with the directions on what we're supposed to be doing. Now, in these escape rooms, um, it's kind of like a game where you're completing different puzzles to um, to be able to uh, quote unquote escape. Um, it's it's different from a regular escape room where you're physically there. Uh, it's just something that you're able to do kind of in your imagination. So we'll, we'll get started with the Hogwarts Digital Escape Room. Welcome to Hogwarts. It is your first year at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, and you could not be more excited. You were just sorted into your dream house, and you had dinner with your new classmates. It is time to head back to the common room and get to know your roommates. As you head into the cozy room, the house prefect announces that you have a fun team-building activity to complete before you get too settled into your new digs. The house prefect tells you about a new muggle trend where they lock themselves in rooms and have to answer puzzles to get out. No magic at all. Next thing you know, the room is completely dark and you hear a door slam. We scroll down and hit next. You and your roommates are now in a bright circular room with a circle with a single door that has a bunch of numbers on the handle. One of your roommates is Muggleborn and has done an escape room before, so they quickly take the lead, explaining that you have to look around for clues. You all search your robes, but none of you can find your wands. As you search for clues, you notice there is a poster on the wall and a small wooden table in the middle of the room. On the table, you see a strange, thin, black rectangle. You pick it up, and it says, Swipe up to open. After several failed attempts, you are able to swipe up, but it is just a blank. And if you scroll down, you'll see what they're actually talking about. is a cell phone. Wait! Little bubbles are beginning to appear. The bubbles seem to be a conversation. And you can tell that it's actually uh, text messages. Are you done reading those books yet? What books? I need to borrow them when you're done. Okay, but what books? Sizzling Spells, a collection of daring dragon poetry by Fiery Foe. Magical Maps and the Art of Not Getting Lost by Con Pass. Oh, yep, Sizzling Spells and magical maps. Dragon rhymes plus maps. Got it. How are the bubbles and this poster connected? 
so this is somewhere you might need to open up uh, another window to know uh, what is in each of these Dewey Decimal um, categories, which is something that we uh, use in the library to arrange nonfiction books. So if we look at what they're wanting, they're wanting rhymes plus maps. So if you're thinking about rhymes, you may be thinking about poetry or something like that. And poetry is going to be found in the literature section. So the number for that is going to be the 800s. Maps is um, something that you would find in the geography section, which is 900. So if it wants rhymes plus maps, we need to add 800 plus 900. Click Next. And then we have to answer what we came up with. What number combination do you try? So 800 plus 900 equals 1700. I mark that and click Next. And it was correct. 1700 I opened the door. Now, if you had not added correctly or if you had picked the wrong uh, Dewey Decimal category, it would make you try again until you got the correct answer. So you would continue through each of these um, pages in the escape room and you'll be doing different puzzles. Some of them are math related, some of them are logic. Some of them re may require you to open up other uh, websites. So you'll want to make sure you use another tab to open that up so you still have your directions here. I will let you um, finish the escape room on your own. And if you want to do it as a family, it may be something fun to do one night. I hope that you are all well, and I will see you next time.